Hi guys, Eddie Case back here again today. Yesterday we learned what materials go into the body of a basement project, the main categories, the main items that are going in. And today I'm going to show you, we're going to price this out, I'm going to bullet point all these out here and we're going to arrive at a grand total for this. Now we're working with a 1,000 square foot basement which is an average job for me. All right, and I have found that most folks that are doing their jobs themselves are working with about a thousand square foot area. So we're going to use that. Now, I, I mean, my, my jobs go up to 2,500 and, and on up to several thousand square feet more, but average for me is a thousand square feet. So I know the pricing really well for this stuff. All right, uh, and before we get started here, there's one thing that I didn't show you yesterday. We were talking about deliveries. I only got to the second delivery. There's a third delivery. And um, what's on that third delivery for me is going to be the painting, the trim, the hardware, the lighting, and the flooring. Now, not carpet and padding because I don't do carpet and pad, but the tile, vinyl, and composite flooring, if that's in my client's job, I'm getting it on the truck in my third order. So there's a total of three orders, which simplifies that delivery system for me because one thing I can't stand is wasting gas and burning time running back and forth to... Um, Home Depot or wherever wherever I'm shopping for material so I thought I'd throw that in there all right so let's get started with our material list so that we can come up with a budget so that you can plug it into your uh, your plans for your basement and we're going to start with the two by fours two by fours I figured 300 studs all right two by fours in the walls and uh, they're going to be eight foot or nine foot depending upon the height of my clients basement from the concrete floor to the floor joists so you'll measure from your floor to your joists and Wherever you fall, you'll order that, that length of lumber. It's normally going to be an eight or a nine foot two by four you're going to be ordering. Um, I figured 30 plates. Those are going to be my top and bottom plates in my walls. And they're also going to be part of my soffit system. I need long lumber for those. So with these 300 studs and 30 plates, I'll be able to frame my basement. And the cost of those materials currently at today's market prices is $1,025. All right, that's what it costs me to order this stuff on the truck in that first delivery. Fasteners, we talked about those yesterday. The nails, the screws, the shot and pins. I'm normally getting one box of nails, a 50 pound box of nails. There's generally about 2,000 nails in that box. Uh, I'll get a 50 pound box of drywall screws because I'm going to be doing a lot of jobs with that box of screws, so I don't buy any less. You might only need maybe two five pound or three five pound boxes of drywall screws, inch and a quarter. Shot and pins, or we talked about those yesterday for my ram set gun to shoot the walls to the floor. I'm getting two boxes of each, two boxes of shot, two boxes of pins, and the price for all that stuff is 120 bucks. All right, so yours may be a little less because you're not going to get a 50 pound box of drywall screws, and whatnot. Okay, next we've got the electric. That's all my wire, my boxes, recessed lights switches, outlets, breakers, all that good stuff. Everything to do a typical thousand square foot basement to code. $725 in materials. All right, next we've got our plumbing. Our plumbing is our PEX lines, the plastic water lines. It's, it's the system that we use and most guys in the business have switched over to PEX. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in future videos. But for all of my PEX equipment, my waistlines, my Schedule 40 PVC waistlines, uh, and all my fittings to put it all together. Plus, since we're doing a half bathroom in this, talk about that, I have figured a half bath into this 1,000 square foot job as well. So we'll have to add into that price a sewage ejector and a sewage ejector grinder pump motor, okay? That's the system that pumps wastewater up and out to the street. Generally, our sewage goes out of our home above the basement floor. All right, and since we want to flush the toilet into the floor and drain our sink or our, or our shower down into the floor and trap it, we've got to pump the water up. So you're going to need a sewage ejection system. So I figured all the parts for that, the pump, the pit, and all the accessories in there, and I came up with a price of $600. And now that really surprised me because generally in the old days now, I'm going back, I started basements in 1992, back in the day, the plumbing was more than the electric, but copper has gone up so much in the last couple of years that now it's you know, eclipsed the, uh, the plumbing costs. And I didn't know that until I started doing the research on coming up with this list for you guys. Um, that actually surprised me. So 
plumbing was less than the electric. All right, then we got our HVAC. That's all of our flex lines that we talked about yesterday, our flex duct, our four inch, six inch, seven, eight inch flex duct, our grates, um, and all the parts to put that together. Uh, and it wasn't as expensive as I thought it was either. It was 225 bucks for a basement. And that was for uh, three feeds. Those are what bring the air into the basement, the heat and the AC, pump it in. And for two returns, 225 bucks. Not too bad. All right, then we've got insulation. Now for, for this example, for a thousand square foot, we're only insulating the exterior walls. I figured five bags of R13 insulation, not the rolls of insulation, but the individual cut pieces. I think there's 11 eight foot pieces in a bag. I got five of those. All right, that gave me 55 pieces of insulation and the cost that I came up with there was $210. I figured five bags, I forget what that came to. It was like $35 to $38, somewhere in there, a bag. So there's our insulation. Now the drywall, I'm giving it to you two ways here. The first way I'm gonna give it to you is you buying all the materials, the board, the bead, the mud, the tape, and doing the job yourself. The second way is gonna be you using a subcontractor and you doing none of it, all right? Just calling a subcontractor in to do the work for you. Occasionally I'll do that, when I'm swamped, when I'm really busy and I can't keep up with all the drywall projects, I'll call one of my friends that's a contractor, he'll come in and his average price for me, or for anybody for that matter, for you, would be about $2,700 for him to come in and do that for, for you. That's you doing nothing. If you do it yourself, the material for the board, the mud, the tape, and the bead is gonna be about 750 bucks. So you can see the difference there of about $1,950. That's the profit that they're gonna make doing the job. That's how much you can save if you do it yourself. I wanted to show it to you both ways. Um, painting is next. That's all of our wall paint, our trim paint, our primer, our tape, our plastic, our rollers, all the accessories that you use for a paint job. Um, um, and I'm thinking you're gonna do your own painting. Average price for me for paint materials is right around 500 bucks. All right, trim, that's next. Trim is gonna be our doors, our base trim, our handrail and our banister parts, some three quarter round, maybe some OG. I'm not including crown and chair rail in this thousand square foot job because this is kind of like a bare bones basement. It's still a really nice basement with a half bath, but without all the gingerbread. And crown molding and chair rail is trim that you don't act, absolutely need to have right away. You can add it later, but I don't have it figured in to this trim price. Now I figured five doors for a thousand square foot basement going into different areas. The storage room, the bathroom, um, maybe a bedroom, maybe an office, maybe a game room, a door at the top of the stairs, whatnot. Five doors, I average for doors a hundred bucks. So I have 500 bucks in doors and then all the other stuff, the other trim gave me an order of about 720 bucks. So there's $720 in trim materials. All right, next we've got hardware. And as you recall, hardware is our doorknobs, our door stops, our closet shelving. I use good stuff. I buy the best doorknobs. Uh, I think I'm buying Schlage right now. Real good stuff. Um, about $28, $29 a doorknob. Good stuff. French style handles and uh, oil bronze or nickel satin. Good stuff. I use the rubberized Closet-Made shelving system from Closet-Made. That's the manufacturer. That's the, that's the brand name, Closet-Made. And uh, with all the parts to put that together, I figured one eight foot closet in this thousand square foot basement with an eight foot shelf and rod in it. Uh, for all these materials for the hardware, not too bad, about 250 bucks. All right, next we got lighting. Lighting is our trim rings that went with our recessed light cans that we got in the electric order. Talked about those yesterday. Uh, we've got bulbs, surface fixtures. I figured one, uh, ceiling fan with a light kit. I also uh, did not figure in any under cabinet lighting or any sconce lighting because again this is a, this is a, a bare bones basement. We don't have a bar going in here. We don't need under cabinet lighting. And sconce lighting is lighting that you don't absolutely have to have as well. Uh, for all the lighting for this project we got 400 bucks. All right next we got flooring. Now, to keep it simple for this example, for what we're doing today, I just figure carpeting and padding in just about the whole basement. The only place that I switched to tile 
is in the bathroom. Now an average bathroom for me, a powder room, is about three to three and a half feet wide by eight to nine feet long. All right, so we're gonna just round that off to 40 square feet. So I knocked 40 square feet off the thousand. I'm carpeting 960 square feet. I changed that, I converted it to yards. All you do is take the square footage and divide it by nine. 960 divided by nine gives you, I think, like 111 or 112 square yards. Most carpet places figure carpeting in yards. And uh, when I figure that out, at an average price for my clients of 20 to $21 a square yard, and that's a good middle of the road carpeting, I came up with 2,500 bucks, all right? So we're gonna do $2,500 for our flooring. Now that can be less. You don't have to spend $20 a square yard for carpets. You can spend $12, $13. As a matter of fact, most carpet places always have some uh, really nice carpet that's being discontinued or maybe the dye lot ran out and they've got a bunch of it left. You might be able to get it real cheap and it's a really good grade carpet. So you don't have to spend that. And of course you can spend $4,000 if you want because I've seen carpet at $40 a square yard. Although I don't recommend you do that, you don't need it. You can get a really nice carpet for $20 a square yard. So that's our flooring budget, $2,500. And as you can see, that's next to subbing out your drywall. That's your, that's your second biggest cost on, on here. All right, and then we've got, last but not least, we've got permits. And permits are gonna run us about $150. All right, that's my average here in Pennsylvania, in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, 150 bucks. I think the most I've ever spent was like 400 bucks. All right, we're not building a house here. We're, we're remodeling our basement. And talking to other guys across the country that do similar work to what I do, what my company does, they're paying about the same on an average. So there's your list. There's everything bolted out. And um, now what we're going to do is come up with these grand totals. All right, the grand total. Tiffany, please, Tiffany roll. We're gonna give it to you two ways. Gonna give it to you with the drywall being done with the uh, subcontractor, and we're gonna give it to you regular. You doing everything. All right, if you do everything and you add up this list of materials, you're coming up with 8,175 bucks. If you use the subcontractor for the drywall, it adds $1,950 more to the cost of the project, which jumps it up to 10, I think 125. Yes, 10, 125. Now, I don't know about you guys, but these numbers are great numbers, man. That, that is not that bad of a price. When you consider that you're picking up 1,000 square foot of new living space really nice stuff here now with a half bathroom and we got to put this in perspective here let's say you wanted to add an addition onto your house in Harrisburg Pennsylvania an average addition costs there goes my cap um, average addition costs 80 to 120 dollars a square foot all right at a thousand square feet at a buck twenty, that's a hundred twenty grand. On the low side, eighty thousand dollars. I mean, best bang for your buck is basement remodeling. By far the best you can the best you can get. And in that addition for a thousand square foot for eighty grand, you're not getting a bathroom. Alright, so you're getting a bathroom and a thousand square foot of really nice new living space down there with central AC and heating circulating down there, a nice bathroom, you know, maybe maybe a nice entertainment area, game area, possibly an office or whatnot for $8,175 if you do it all yourself. If you sub out the drywall, which is the most labor intensive part of any project, still just a, just a shy over 10 grand. Now, I gotta let you know, I charge for a thousand square foot job for an average job like this, about 25,000 bucks. It's about $25 a square foot and I'm on the low side in my area. Average around here is about 30, the $32 a square foot. So I'm on the low side. Um, you know, I just, I can be more competitive that way. It's a competitive market around here. Um, I've seen guys get 50 and $60 a square foot for what we're talking here. At $25 a square foot, it's 25 grand. All right, so 25 grand, I mean, my gosh, you're, you're, you're saving, what, 15, 16,000 bucks if you, about 15 grand, 15K, if you sub the drywall, all right, 
$17,000 if you do it yourself, if you DIY it. I mean, this is what the this is what the contractors take away. Now that's gross profit. I mean, we got to pay our men out of that and, and our company overheads over that. We don't get to keep all that. I wish I did, but regardless of whether I kept it all or not, this is what you're saving. And that's that's incredible. I mean, that's that's more than 50%. You know, it's like a, it's like 100% the contractors are charging, you know. 8,000 to 17,000, 10,000 to to um, you know, 15k. It's it's crazy. Um, so I mean, I hope these numbers excite you. I I mean, I hope that actually this is less than what you were anticipating. Um, you know, I hope it wasn't more than you were, you were anticipating. This is a lot of square footage and a lot of stuff for these two numbers. And this, this it's awesome, really. You can't beat basement remodeling. So now with this budget in your mind, all right, and and I have advertised in my promotional materials for like the pro video A to Z video series, all right, and the uh, basement finishing university, I advertise that I can save you between $5,000 and like $15,000 in cold hard cash when you finish your own basement. And I mean, the proof's in the pudding. Here it is right here. These are real numbers. These are the prices contractors charge. You know, this is a, this is a $25,000 on the low side basement project. Those are your prices. So I hope now you can plug this into your, your planning stages of your basement and now you can figure out what you can and can't afford so you can maybe pack more into your wish list. So um, I'm just glad to do this for you. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow or maybe it's the next day with more great basement remodeling tips and advice for you. So I'll talk to you then. Take care.